Well, we are learning new information about what may have led to a head on crash that killed a 22 year old man on State Route 56. The family members say the driver who survived may have been under the influence of an inhalant. And tenders reporter Ashley DiMartino explains this growing danger. This was a scene early Thursday morning. Two mangled cars after a fatal head on collision on State Route 56. The driver of the Toyota, 22-year-old Nicholas Hart, was killed upon impact. The driver of the Land Rover, 18-year-old Tim Barnett, suffered multiple broken bones and was rushed to the hospital. Barnett was the driver that caused the crash and is currently being investigated by CHP. Ted News went to the Barnett home and the boyfriend of Georgia Barnett, Tim's mother, told Ted News that Tim had been on some kind of inhalant when the crash happened. The CHP is still awaiting the results of a toxicology test. 10 News went to Scripps La Jolla to speak with Nancy Knott, who is a counselor in the drug and alcohol program, to find out more about what an inhalant is and what effects it has on the body. But it's inhaling, it's the propellant is the problem, it's the chemicals in the propellant that can kill a person. Not told us that huffing, dusting or bagging is popular among teens because it's easy and an inexpensive way for them to get high. It's a stimulant, it's a hallucinogen, so they're going to get a wow, they're going to get a rush from it. A rush that can cause the person doing it to pass out, not tells us deaths have occurred at Scripps from inhalants. A lot of people are using it. It's just going to be one of those more under the radar, and I think it can catch on. Like in other words, one kid in junior high starts using it, then their friend uses it, then they use it, then they use it. So you can have clusters of it, but it's very, very lethal. Ashley DiMartino, 10 News.